Welcome to our video on R programming. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many data enthusiasts encounter when using dplyr and ggplot. Our viewer has run into some challenges with piping in R, specifically with creating plots and accessing variables. Let's dive into the details of their question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's address the first issue with the ggplot and dplyr piping. The error occurs because the group variable is not recognized within the ggplot function. To fix this, we need to ensure that the group variable is accessible in the ggplot context. Now let's look at the second problem. You are trying to use a save ggplot object within a pipe, but it results in an error. The ggplot object needs to be fully defined within the pipe to access the data frame being passed. To summarize, when using ggplot with dplyr, always encapsulate your ggplot calls within curly braces to ensure that the data frame context is maintained. This allows you to access variables created in the previous steps. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the DPLER and ggplot piping issue, wrap your shape definition in AES. If you want to use shape outside of AES, pass a single value like shape equals 1. Remember, geonpoint throws an error if you use a continuous variable for shape. Also, the pipe operator assumes the right-hand side is a function. So calling gg as a function on a data frame isn't valid. Instead, use the correct syntax to add layers to your ggplot object. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.